Okay, so let's try that again. Copy the light. Okay, and four pages in the Delta. Let's see if we can actually use the eight last time as opposed to the five pages in it. So let's do it. Here's the four pages that you have You're going to have the four shapes that we have. So you're going to start off with your rectangular block and make it smaller. So the rectangular block is going to the first page. You're going to take, you don't draw this in the first page, but you're going to take um, the rectangular blocks in the tray there and you're going to draw around them so they are sitting in the middle of the page here. Okay? You're then going to take the, the semicircular block, do the same thing. Semicircular. And you're going to take the triangular block, do the same thing and then you're going to take the mirror. Now the mirror would just be written, drawn as that, with a hash line behind it. That's the mirror. So you've got four pages in your job. You can put the headings in each page, so you do that side. Right? Rectangular block. This is semi-circular block. This is triangular block. Okay. Now, I'm going to put onto these pages some angles of light. And once you get your block drawn round, you're going to start by putting these lines on to show which way I'd like the line, the light to go into the block to start with. Okay. So let's put a blue color. Now, when you're doing this, I would like you to make sure you have the arrow on the lights. Okay, so we can't do this to draw in the block. So we're going to draw for this one, we're going to draw a light into the block that way. I'm going to draw a light into the block at different angles to that. So when you're doing it though, what's important to note is, is I want the light going in at the same point. So I'm going to put three lines into that, but I want them all going at the same point. Right? So this point here must be the same. Okay? That's for the rectangle block. And when you're going to do that, you're then going to draw the line as it comes out the block. And then we'll talk about it another bit. The semicircular block, again, it's very similar. We're going to draw the light go into the block. Oops. This way. Coming straight into the block, like this. Then we draw a light coming at an angle to the block, like this. Another angle, like this. Now, if you want to make your lines different colours, that may be an idea. So you can see which one's which when you're drawing more. Or you can number your lines. As long as you know which line going in corresponds to which line coming in. Okay, I'm going to call attention to do that. Right. Triangular block, we can have our line going in like this, get in like that. We've got another one going in uh, a little bit lower down, like that. And then we'll do one going in an angle like that. Three lines into that one. Then the mirror, I want one going in like that. And I want one coming in like that. We can do another one. And for each block, the three lines, number them one to three, or make them different colours, a proper colour text. And then you're going to draw the lines that come out. To make sure it's the same colour or has the same number, so you know which one's which. Okay? Right. Once you understand any questions about that, actually. Okay? So what I'm going to do now is come to the front, collect a block, and you're going to use one of the three, and start drawing them on your daughter so you get exactly the right size. Right, so you draw around them and then take a ruler and draw on the line going into the block to start with. It's not, it doesn't have to be any specific angle, but take the rulers that are in the tray in front of you and draw the lines going into the blocks 
color pencils are here if you want to use color pencils, or you just can number them one, two, and three. Okay? Just color pencils, sharpeners at the very end of the color pencils. Right, on you go, get that started, and then we'll have a look at what actually is going to